Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise, and today's video is a quick little video on what I like to feed my betta fish and what I think is good and kind of in the order of what I would feed them from like my favorite thing to feed to my least favorite because I have gotten quite a few questions on what I feed my betta fish and like what certain people should feed their betta fish so I just figured I would make a video to kind of help you guys and let you guys know what I do. Okay guys so ignore the styrofoam with the paint. This is where I paint my boxes where I ship out fish. Um, but here are three different little food choices. I'm going to start right here because this is my second favorite thing to feed my betas. My number one favorite thing would have to be bloodworms, which I'm going to flip around here and talk to you about first. Um, I don't have like the bloodworms to like hold in my hand to show you because they're not in the packaging. They are actually chopped up and in a bag so I'm not going to get that out because they are messy but my number one favorite thing to feed my betas and it is what I feed them most often is frozen bloodworms. Now these frozen bloodworms are really good and nutritious for the betas. They are a little bit more messy and they do take some time but they are definitely worth it because they do have a lot of things that will help benefit your beta and they are just very 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 good for them and they love them. Like literally the betas will love them. Um, I don't really have a beta that doesn't like them, so I definitely recommend that because of the nutritional value and how much the betas really do like them and benefit. Like Steve, if y'all watch my videos, you know I have my baby beta Steve. Once he got big enough to where he could eat those, he grew so fast. Like he bulked up, he grew so much, and it was all because of those bloodworms because I had been feeding him the little baby food from Hikari and then when I switched to Frozen it's like literally when he started doing all his changing so number one thing I recommend is the Frozen Bloodworms and I will insert a picture above so you guys can see what they look like and then like I was saying my second favorite thing to feed are if I don't drop that um, are these Top Fin Color Enhancing Beta Bites these are super easy like when you have done something you know in the day where you get really tired and you want to just have something quick I definitely recommend these now I don't recommend only having pellets in their diet I recommend like I said the frozen but to switch it up a little so you're not feeding frozen like every day I would switch it up to like these pellets they are color enhancing mini floating food pellets contains natural color enhancers and yeah I do find good things with these and then, second of all, I would go with flakes, but these are my least favorite. I don't like flakes as much, and I rarely, rarely, rarely ever use these. Flakes are really better for what I have found to be picky betas who really don't like to eat a lot of foods, which I have, I've came in touch with that quite often, actually, especially with friends who have betas, and they're like, oh, my beta won't eat, so I have to help find a good food for them. You can always try the flakes which I have these by Tetra, and then these Marine Land Color Enhancing Tropical Flakes. Now, these flakes and these flakes look different, although they are both called flakes. <laughs> so I'm going to show you kind of the difference. Okay, so to show you guys the difference, if you can see, these are really super paper-thin breakable pellets, which are the Tetra ones. But they are super, super thin and fine, whereas these Marine Land ones right here, are really hard and round they're just like little polka dots and they are kind of crunchy so it could be harder for your beta to eat so if it is you could always just kind of chop them up because they are harder so I would just chop them up if your beta did have a hard time but I do prefer these over these so this would be more of a last resort so basically when feeding the little pellets I would do about four to five pellets per beta and I feed them once a day and I do fast them once in the week because this helps to clear out their digestive tract um, and it is also a bit easier for them not to get all bloated and stuff on these because the bad thing about like the pellets and flakes it makes it a lot easier for them to get swim bladder which we all know is not good um, whereas live foods like the frozen 
is a lot better and also helping prevent them to get swim bladders. So that's why I wouldn't do these all the time um, and I would mix them up. But I would do about four to five pellets a day. And then for both of the flakes, I would do the smallest little pinch because you do not want to overfeed. And the beta stomachs are not that large. So do not fill your tank with tons of these flakes because it will also mess up your water quality. So yeah, you guys, basically that is just a short little video about what I do um, when I feed my betas and what I prefer and what nutritional facts go with what. Um, and yeah, so I really hoped this could help some of you guys because I know, like I said, I do get people asking me what I feed my beta, how many times a day I feed my beta, and how much. So I really hope this kind of clears some things up for you guys and helps you with your beta feedings. And yeah, so go ahead and also follow me on Snapchat because on Snapchat you can see updates of me and my betas and my new mouse as well. So definitely do that for all sorts of updates. And this is my Snapchat name. It's Anna Louise 20 And yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe, which you can do by hitting my face right here. And you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right here. And it would mean the world to me if you would do so. And I hope you have a great day, night, or whenever you may be watching this and I'll see you guys in my next video.